Got it. Okay. Hey, what's up? This is Mike with Stained. If you're not into now, you're not into nothing. So the uh, Stained Tour, how's that been going so far? It's good. I mean, it's just a little little run we're doing here, you know. Yeah. Um, like a couple of weeks, something like that? A few weeks, you know, we ended up, Aaron had a little hiccup there with his voice. We had to postpone a couple of shows. So we know it's at the end. But other than that, that's really been, you know, it's been good. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not really like a uh, package, like official. It's kind of go out, play some shows, um, get out there, play some new songs a bit. And talk. We have a real tour, a nice package deal set up for the spring, actually, in the States. Nice. Yeah. So the uh, state fans have something to look forward to this spring. Uh, yeah, for sure. Nice. Um, any any particular uh, city so far on, on this little run that you've uh, you guys have been on that kind of sticks out in your mind, like memory wise? Um, Baltimore. I mean, look, they've been really good. Baltimore was really good. That was a fun show. Um, I did all in Iowa. The city was good. Um, no, they've been good. Mm -hmm. Now, do you have a, a particular area of the country that you look forward to going out and play when you get out on the road? As long as there's people there, it's really what matters, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Wherever it is, you know. We just did Chicago, like it's a fun city, I like Chicago a lot. So, you know, as long as people show up, you know, it's pretty much the same bus, venue, hotel. I mean, it's not much, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. it's not like we really get out of it, uh, you know, like, so we show up and now you guys have been through Kansas a few times uh, throughout the years. Um, any, any thoughts or opinions on how Kansas has treated staying? It's been, it's been real good, you know. Um, I remember back a few years back we did a show in, in Kansas City and uh, it was in some park. It was, that was a really good show. Um, Is that the Kansas Liberty Memorial Park? Might have been, yeah. Park 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 Park. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Over there, so we got to throw out the first pitch at a Royals game too, so that was cool. Wow. Yeah. Let's uh, talk a little bit about the the new record. Um, phenomenal. Oh, uh, thank you. I would say right now it's it's my favorite stadium record. Thank you. And uh, with, with this, it's kind of how would you compare going in and recording this record to maybe the previous record? last couple of records uh, yeah, for you really, guitar wise no sure well i mean look i knew after we finished the last record we wanted to try and go back to uh, kind of what we started you know more aggressive sound mm -hmm. and uh so i mean i came prepared for that you know and i uh, put together songs that were obviously don't along those lines and we got together and just started sorting through the ideas you no know, really the process was pretty much the same as always and it wasn't it wasn't any different other than that we knew we wanted to uh back to kind of why we started playing music, which is going to play more aggressive. Kind of went back to stage for us. Yeah. Now, was there uh, any any songs that you guys went in and recorded that are kind of emotionally attached to you, that, that means something a lot to you personally? I... Uh, I, no, I mean, nothing really, nothing really stands out. I mean, it was, uh, again, it was just, I mean, for me, it's just, much stuff as I can to make sure I have something that Aaron wants to sing over. You know, um, honestly, some of the stuff that I was most attached to, we didn't do because it wasn't heavy. Wow. You know I mean? So I have some, you know, a bunch of stuff that I we ended up not using, mm -hmm. because, which I knew we were kind of, you know, we were going in that direction. Mm -hmm. Now the the album cover is uh, very unique. Mm -hmm. um, did you guys have a say so on the, the final design of the album? Cover? I mean, it was mostly Paul Brown who did, you know, the, the video for Not Again. He did the pictures and. He album cover um, you know we definitely had talks with him but that was something that he kind of came up with he gave us some some different versions of things and that's what we all pretty much picked out as being you know, one we like the most mm -hmm. now uh, out playing live do you see any of the fans responding to the newer songs any particular newer song more than maybe another one um, you know we've been playing a bunch of them so uh, I mean I think the new record really lent itself to be being played live because of the, you know, the aggressiveness of the music, you know, Paper Wings goes over really well. Yeah, no. I saw it also. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So, you know, those ones seem to go over pretty good. Now, uh, how long a set are you guys doing right now? About an hour and a half. And how many new songs are you guys trying to throw in? Five or six, I think. Nice. That's nice. a lot. So it's, it's a nice big chunk of, of new material. 
kind of, you know, pick the songs we feel we kind of have to play. And, uh, you know, some of the, the new ones that really seem to be working well live. And, uh, and that, you know, just kind of filling around that. Mm-hmm. Well, let's uh, talk a little, a little bit about your history and, and yourself playing guitar. Do you remember, do you remember the first time that you actually picked up a guitar and was like, this is what I want to do? Yeah, I mean, as long as I can remember. I think she had like three with a guitar. Wow. So. Did you ever tend to stray off and maybe play any other instruments, or did you kind of. I mean, I, I did, but it always was making the guitar. Yeah. Was being a musician your your first, uh, you know, job that you wanted to do? Of course. As far as I can remember, yeah. No, um, guitar wise, um, you uh, play the uh, Paul Reed. Um, any particular reason why you wait to uh, playing the Paul Reeds over? They uh, they made me a, a guitar a bunch of years back, and uh, whenever we were in the studio, and I would always go to that guitar, it was always probably the best sounding guitar that I had. That's what kind of led me to, you know, kind of, uh, eventually switching over to Paul Reed Smith and sitting with those guys and uh, kind of basic model, because that signature model, and then basing that on. So, uh, and what I play is basically what you buy off the shelf. They just send me the, the same thing. That's what I play live. Nice. Now, what did you think when you were approached to do your own signature series? That was great. I mean, I was with Ibanez for a long time before that. You know, they, they originally came on board and uh, were really good to me. So a few things happened. I decided my contract was up and I kind of decided I wanted to make the change. Um, I still, I mean, they, you know, they, like I said, they were good to me. You know, but I just decided I wanted to go um, and we got together and you know came up with a lot of what you have now. Mm-hmm. Now, when when you did you get to actually play the first one that they put off the production line? Or yeah, the that prototypes that they made that they sent me as they were doing it. We you know kind of tweaked a few things here and there and before they went into production. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you remember when you thought the first time you actually played your own signature series? What that was like? Well, you know it was. Like the first time was when I was with Ibanez, and it was basically guitars that they were making, and they just kind of, we had gone through, they made me a lot of guitars until we got it to where we wanted it, you know, and that did that basically end up becoming the production one for them. And with Paul Ray Smith, we did a couple of prototypes, and, uh, uh, you know, got it right pretty quickly. Yeah. Now, did, uh, kind of going back to the, the studio stuff, did you use anything different in the studio guitar wise? No, not really. I mean, I. You know, it's funny, we had a lot of a lot of different baritones and uh, even that one that I talk about that you know I had for that maybe years ago. It was funny, I, I ended up using just the off the shelf sound of the best. It was, yeah, it was it was kinda of surprising. I was surprised by it. Because when you're in the studio you can really you can really tell because you can record a bunch of them and listen back and figure out which one sounds the best, you know. And uh, it was that. So we basically had two of them that I ended up almost a whole record with, you know, and solos I did on a different uh, Paul Reed Smith and Cardi I think that I had, and uh, some Les Pauls. And, um, but no, it wasn't really anything different. I almost used uh, my library for amps, a few other amps that we used, but I mean, it was, because the record really, there's not like there's a lot of different changes in it. I mean, it's just a heavy record once you get a good guitar to kind of stick with it. Whereas Illusion of Progress, there was a lot more different layers and a lot more different sounds on it, so a lot more time went into different guitars and different amps and trying to get different sounds where there wasn't much of variation on this record. Nice. Let's uh, talk a little bit about over the last few years we've had all these social networking things pop up all over the internet. Um, what's, what's your thoughts and opinions on, on those crazy things? And do you think they've helped the band out? I don't know. I don't the only person that's on a Facebook page, so... Um, One of a handful of people in the world. Never been on Facebook. <laughs> so, um, it seems like a lot of banter to me. You know? Yeah, I can't. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I mean, I have management's like, oh, you need to, you know, tweet and make all mistakes. And look, and I understand. I mean, I know things change, but uh, I, I just want to play guitar, so... Yeah. You know? And I mean, I'll, every now and again, I'll, I'll like, text them or email them something because they always say you got to post something so I'll send them something and they'll put it up there you know but, 
Yeah. I do do it sometimes. But, um, kind of just stand behind your music instead of the computer. Yeah, I mean, and look, and that's probably not a great attitude to have. You know, I mean, I probably shouldn't because it's not going anywhere. It's not changing. Yeah. And it's a new thing. And, uh, but, uh, I don't know. I just, uh, I haven't uh, embraced it. I probably should, but I haven't. You'll be one of the, the few that's in the, in the last that, that haven't come across somebody to told the dark me, side. I, think I, I, could, I could screw up the statistic, but I think somebody said that two thirds of the people in the world are on Facebook or something. I'm like, not. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's yeah, kind of a crazy thing how that kind of just takes over people's lives. And everyone's all just like Facebook, Facebook, Twitter. I mean, you know, from what I, I mean, I could care less if somebody's eating a cheeseburger right now or buying a pair of shoes. Or, you know, it seems more like that uh, everybody wants to be a star with that, that reality TV and everybody cares about somebody who gave a fuck because yeah. I don't <laughs> you know nice. yeah. so but anyways uh, and that's why I feel like with me I mean it's like I'm just playing guitar in a band I mean who really cares that I mean I'm, you know at the ball right now you know, yeah people just seem to post like from what I understand it's random random things. crap yeah <laughs> who cares about it yeah you know, tweet hey I'm in the bathroom now <laughs> my Facebook says I'm on my way to to Rocco. Um, so uh, you were talking about the uh, the spring tour with you guys. Um, what can the fans expect to hear that big announcement? Uh, soon. We're actually, I think, I mean, I'm pretty sure the lineups. I mean, it's pretty much confirmed. We're just waiting to finalize a few things, and uh, I mean, it should be out any time now. So, I mean, Are you guys yeah. working on new material. Yeah, good lineup. I mean, I'm always writing. You know, but Aaron wants to do a solo thing in between this and us doing another record. So. Um, you know, there's always ideas, you know, so. What about, there's a lot of bands spring off and do side projects, and it's, is that something you've considered doing, or? It wasn't until recently, you know what I mean? But I mean, if Aaron's gonna go and, you know, do his whole thing, I mean, I, there's a lot of downtime, you know, so. So I'm definitely looking at a few different things, and we'll see what happens, I don't know, maybe, not, not, maybe nothing will happen, maybe, you know, something will come in, I've written a few songs for a few different things, so we'll see. That's cool. Well, uh, hey man, that covered just about everything. Any cool. last comments you want to toss out? It's just, uh, you know, good to still be here after all these years, and thank you for the fans that we have. You guys definitely have some diehard, diehard fans. Yeah, great fans for sure. Oh, yeah, definitely. Lucky for that. And we're definitely looking forward to the show tonight. So I hope you enjoy. Cool. All right. Hey, thanks a lot for your time.